she had a lot of flings and she was quite a, she never married and she was a very um, woman that liked to live for the moment I'd say to put it nicely a woman who liked to walk around the block perhaps twice <laughs> fabulous weather right now. If you're a duck, I'm a morning person and that's how you know I'm running late. I have tried to be productive and tried to jam pack it all in and failed. Yes, we are on our way to visit the Queen and by the Queen I mean Chanel. I'll insert a quote. She has a lot of good quotes actually. You could live by these. Yes, Chanel has come to the National Gallery and uh, we have made the very spur of the moment decision to go because my husband happens to have a day off work because the weather is clearly uncooperative uh, but lucky it works out for us because the exhibition is ending. It's an exhibition of all her uh, fashion pieces throughout time up until now and what a legacy to what a woman. Now true to form we are running spectacularly late as this is a weekday guys and yes this is a lot for a weekday but when in doubt go all black it always looks fancy i think i'm gonna pop a blazer on with this i think i will do this checkered one i've been wearing this blazer so much recently which is kind of what you want to be doing with your wardrobe you know it's a good piece when you wear it on repeat uh this was a forever new find and sorry the camera is in front of me faccia there we are. <laughs> this blazer was a forever new find. I just absolutely love it. I will link it down in the description box. Uh, just some old witchery skinny jeans, which I, you know me guys, I've completely converted from the skinny jean life. I'm all about the straight leg baggy look now. Oh yes, sweetie. And I'll add a touch of Chanel with this quilted leather bag. No, this is not a Chanel. This is a Italian brand called Mal Malifi got a palm tree on it it doesn't look very Italian at all but I found this like half price on the iconic had my eye on it for ages and I think this ties in with the look beautifully keeping it nice and simple with a nice bit of a suit I think Chanel was uh, very much into suiting and she was one of the inventor of the women's suits actually uh, hair is quite voluminous but it'll probably drop out during the day I did this trick where I hairsprayed it with my hair upside down as recommended by my hairdresser just to give it a bit more volume because it's been looking a bit flat lately and I don't do flat hair. I may go into more detail about my look later but I got some combat boots on, I have a very grumpy baby and I think that's my cue to exit. I'm missing that people would be waiting at the Vuitton in this kind of weather but anyway what you do for a handbag guys. is what you call ladies and gentlemen a disappointment long story short there was a road blockage it was pouring down with rain there was no umbrella despite the fact that my mum insisted that we always carry an umbrella in the boot of our car and I insisted multiple times that we never needed one considered I have not used an umbrella in the last 10 years and today we needed one and then we had to go pick up the children and time got away with us so Take two on the Chanel exhibit will happen, will happen. There's no, another opportunity coming up. So don't worry guys, I will get you there. We will be going, don't you worry about that. And this outfit was not wasted guys. Uh, we ended up at a cafe, which we have not done 
in 10 years. I said to my husband, I'm like, you know, was the last time we sat down and had a cup of coffee? Never. Yeah. <laughs> But it was wonderful and this wasn't just an ordinary coffee. I actually wanted to talk more about it at the table But I felt a little bit subcon um, subconscious Self-conscious guys um, I don't know. I'm not used to vlogging out in public and I just felt people's eyes on me So I was like mm, I'll get used to it at some point. Oh my gosh. There were so many Instagram opportunities there anyway we had this mocha, which again, not my usual coffee order. It was an oat milk mocha with 70% dark chocolate sort of mixed in to the coffee. Guys, I was in absolute coffee chocolate heaven. Like those are my two favorite things in life in a mug. And I was about to order another one upon leaving. And I'm like, no, there's too much, too much in one sitting. But anyway. We are back and uh, what I thought you might be interested in, potentially, if not, you can wait till we get to the more exciting part of the vlog, but the handbag, which I will flip around and show you, which I would say is the closest dupe to the Chanel flap bag. It has exactly the same kind of ridging or I'm sure what you call this, like the, the flap detail. It's like got a curve to it. And again, the clasp, obviously not a Chanel clasp, but the same kind of chain with the ribbon threaded through it. And again, real leather bag and it's Italian. So, well, actually Chanel's French, isn't it? Wow, you're getting an education right here today, guys. Let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> been a long day already anyway I thought you might be interested in as to the uh, brand and I got this several years ago and on sale as well I had my eye on it for so long and I thought look you can never go wrong as you can see with a quilted black leather bag it is a classic doesn't matter what brand it's from and uh, this is very well made has stood the test of time again I've had it for quite a few years and I got it from the iconic ironically it's a brand called yeah, I'll show you. Mar Mala BG. And despite the fact it has a palm tree, it's apparently made in Italy, which is now arising some suspicions in me. And please don't mind the no makeup. I will catch up with you for more exciting content. And I will catch up with you for more exciting content. Hold that thought. Um, you're looking, yes, at a pomegranate this morning and it was just so beautiful looking with the light streaming in. That autumn light never fails to look absolutely anything look good, save myself. Um, but I just had to take a few pics of this beautiful fresh pomegranate from Nonna's garden. And I just popped on our little antique chair in the corner here. <laughs> How beautiful. I'll call this my appreciation for fruit moment. And to answer your question, no, I am not ready for the day, even though it is way past the beginning of the day, but it's just one of them. And Pizza Hut is messaging me saying if I'd like a three large pizza and three sides delivered for $37.95. That is quite tempting on a day like today when I cannot be bothered cooking because I'm far too overrun with too many sick children. I mean, who invented the theory that one child gets sick and they all get sick? I would like to undo that saying. Let's undo this saying and not relive it, thank you. I've been through this far too many times. <laughs> anyway, I will check in with you when we are more put together. Always a good sick day activity, kinetic sand. We'll keep them busy for five minutes. Okay, definitely need an afternoon snack and one packed with 
a lot of the naughty things in life. I've had sick children with croup and I've had them for far too long. So I'm treating myself, guys. <laughs> anyway, I have just discovered my new favorite, favorite thing to eat. And uh, that is the Macro Mike, which I haven't included in shot here. The Macro Mike powdered peanut butter. Now this is a sweet version. I'm not sure if there's a more like savory one. I would prefer maybe the savory one, but we're rolling with it. So if you enjoy peanut butter and you're the kind of person that can eat peanut butter by the tub full, just like myself, rather than doing that, save yourself the calories and mix this in with your favorite yogurt. So I have the YoPro salted caramel here and I've literally put maybe six or seven grams of this, sprinkled in, stirred it up, and it legit tastes like a jar of peanut butter. Like, this stuff is amazing. Anyway, I've topped it with my favorite also uh, snack moment, which is the Smart Snacks Energy, which has little chocolate bits in it, of course. Probiotic chocolate, of course. Topped it with some of that and some fresh raspberries and my other new favorite obsession, if you like Nutella, this is the slightly healthier version. There is a bit of sugar in here, but it's the Panna Organic Hazelnut Chocolate, which is just the perfect topping to any peanut butter situation. And enjoying my new favorite mug, which is coming in a Kmart haul, guys, in the Sable range, a nice espresso cappuccino. Oh, and that is me being summoned. Off I go. Okay, unexpected turn of events, guys. The girls have messaged me and apparently it's all on and we are going to Chanel. I mean, what are the odds? <laughs> See, one door closes, another one opens. Now, I, I've, I've got to get ready and I already partly have. As you can see, my face is looking a little bit more um, fake. <laughs> Which is great. Uh, I need to get an outfit together again. I might just wear the same thing. Um, I don't have time to hate it because I just need to get ready now. And luckily, husband is home. Oh, don't worry. I haven't forgotten about the children. Husband is home. He can take care of them. They're on, they'll be okay. They'll be on the mend. They'll miss mommy for a few hours and I'll be back. Okay. I find myself again with uh, not much time, but um, we'll make the most of it, right? I've just got to get to the hair. Lucky I've got my curlers in today, so that's taken the work out of it for me. Um, my heatless waves from Amazon Fashion. Anyway, why am I going into this right now? You guys already know this. <laughs> I'll link the video. Oh my goodness, what would Chanel do in this situation? Let me look up another quote. Oh, here we go. Fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. I think she's telling me I can just write on my personality for this look. Well, if the Queen says it, it must be so. And ironically, the Queen is wearing her very, very famous crown. And yes, I am taking you along with me. So get strapped in, guys. We're going to Chanel. And just like that, I am pretty much back to the same outfit that I had the other night. Um, I've kept my hair nice and big. I did that trick again where I flip my head upside down, give it a spray, and uh, it seems to be working. So I'm going to continue this. Um, the only thing I've swapped out tonight is I have got on my straight leg vegan leather trousers which I picked up from Cotton On and I've added just this little equestrian horse bit belt from Witchery. Again, wardrobe staple, all of this actually, all of these are wardrobe staples. I think Chanel would be very proud of me actually. <laughs> and just combat boots, I probably don't quite go with this outfit but they're comfortable and I'll be doing a lot of walking at the gallery after all. Anyway, got to run and I will catch up with you there. We're going to get some real life footage this time. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you can see me or even hear me with the ambient water backdrop, <laughs> but I finally, finally made it to the National Gal Gal Galaxy. It's been a long day, guys. I think I'm coming down with the flu. I've been caring for children that have croup, so I don't believe I've actually made it to the National Gallery. Let's get our hands into some Chanel. My outfit is slightly variated from the day before. I've got a bit more of a cool vibe with some leather trousers, but everything is generally the same. But um, looking forward to tonight with the girls tonight. So let's go.
up in this guy's the history, the innovation, the style. But only I could be like her. Honestly, I feel quite underdressed. <laughs> Chanel. gone and done my hair flip again and I've put on a lovely satin blouse that I picked up from H&M actually it's got some lovely buttons but I'm feeling very inspired after that exhibition not only just for the innovation that she brought to the industry and how much she has seriously influenced women's fashion and then good boy done <laughs> and pardon the interruptions guys it's a part of my channel yes done one uno momento por favor okay that should hold him for a minute or two we have limited on time everyone but we are wrapping up this video i do hope you enjoyed the exhibition along with me again she brought so much to women's fashion she brought masculinity to the table but with femininity always incorporated throughout so like for example she brought suiting to the arena anyway just incredible incredible woman incredible legacy uh beautiful gowns anyway and i was also very very inspired by the gift shop at the end which you would have seen a snippet or two uh towards the end of the exhibition good boy thank you Ta. thank you okay take three thousand <laughs> And as you can see, I was very inspired by that exhibition because I am just dressing like Chanel would, just elegantly. <laughs> what is it? Women should be two things, elegant and fabulous, and I intend to be both right now. I'm just feeling it, you know? Very inspired. Um, so, as I said, I got a little bit inspired at the gift shop. So, let me show you what I picked up. There were some absolutely gorgeous candles there on some beautiful, like, modern candlesticks, but there's a ribbed kind. Ribbed candles are very, or ribbed candlesticks are very in right now. If um, you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a picture up above, but I'd um, love to have them as part of my tablescape one day. Anyway, the gift shop was well and truly sold out. This was the last night of the show at the gallery, and I also went to a night viewing. So apparently every month or each week, I think you can do a, a night gallery or a night exhibition, and you have cocktails, which we had one. Um, there's wine, and you get to walk around. It's very lovely. Very posh way to get pissed, really. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't. I only had a beer and I was quite happy with that. Anyway, very enjoyable experience for anyone who likes art. Um, so anyway, I picked up a art folder. 
the cover in itself is just stunning. It's just, well, it's just Chanel, isn't it? It's black and white. You can't get any more classic than that. These are an A3 set of some fashion illustrations. And I was very passionate about fashion illustrations when I was in high school. In fact, I really should have some on hand to show you because I was just... I was very, very into fashion illustrations. I used to do it in manga anime style though with the faces, but very, very 1950s physiques. Very interesting, very niche kind of illustrations I was into. Anyway, um, I thought I could potentially frame these in my room or perhaps potentially replace the movie posters that I have above my bed. So these weren't my favorite illustrations, but they did come with a set and I think they were slightly discounted because it was the last day of the exhibition. So here is one of them. And this is a lovely lady wearing crochet seams in a watercolor. This, I love. It's got the lovely Chanel wording at the top and the gown is just absolutely stunning right up my street. If I could wear something like that guys, oh, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. And then you have this lovely lady here. Now this I can definitely see above my bed. She has on a beautiful shawl with some chiffon and some underlay. Just again, stunning. And this one is very, very Great Gatsby 1920s, loving the slicked back hair. And again, very kind of masculine style starting to come into play there um, with the accentuating the woman's waistline and dropping it down to the hip, which was um, again, very fashionable at the time. I love how this comes with like a little blow on the side. It feels so university art student. <laughs> anyway, and then the other thing I picked up was well, actually, it was gifted to me was this lovely Chanel blank notebook. And it was actually gifted to me by one of my co-workers as she knew my story as to how I used to love doing fashion illustrations. And she gifted me this blank notebook because she said maybe I might like to start that back up again at some point. So it was very, very sweet of her. And it comes with a lovely, I think this might have been an original Chanel 5 uh, promo poster for when the perfume came out. But yeah absolutely beautiful and that's what I picked up from the gallery but just feeling all around very very inspired and learned a few interesting facts about Chanel apparently she had a lot of flings and she was quite a she never married and she was a very um woman that liked to live for the moment I'd say to put it nicely a woman who liked to walk around the block perhaps twice <laughs> Anyway, and apparently she had one great love of her life and it was kept very much a secret because it was during World War II and it was with a German officer or perhaps a Nazi officer and correct me if I'm wrong here anybody but yeah it was very hush hush very undercover but that apparently was the great love of her life and I believe his name was Hans. I wonder if Hans is good with his Hans you know. <laughs> Anyway, I'll give you a minute to get over that joke if you haven't digested it yet. <laughs> and that is enough from me for today. But I will see you in my next vlog. I hope you found it exciting. Hopefully I can be taking you on many, many more trips like this in the city and anywhere. Let's go together. Don't forget to check that description box for anything that I am wearing. If you are ever interested, it's all in there. And please subscribe because, uh, you know, we really, really need that to happen. So please do if you're watching this. It'll be a great favor to me. Get your friends to subscribe. I'm all for it. Okay, I'll see you soon.